What's up guys, Vipreppity here, and today we have a brand new product from Armiton. This is the Armiton Gecko. This one specifically is the 4-inch Gecko frame. They also make this in a 3-inch, and it takes a lot of its, um, I guess, design from the Rooster and also the Chameleon Ti. Mostly the, the Chameleon Ti because it is a solid bottom plate. Um, we do have a titanium front end, and it does have kind of like a lot of similarities with the Chameleon. TI. But it is really a nice looking frame, isn't it? And the best thing about this thing is if you crash this thing and destroy, break this bottom plate, smash the front end of this thing and break the titanium, it is all covered by Armiton's warranty. So you just file a claim with them and it's really easy. I've done it a couple times. Um, you just email their customer service support and then they um, send you a coupon code you go and purchase whatever it is on there, and you decide to pay like five bucks shipping, and you got yourself a brand new part coming in the mail. But let's go ahead and do some measurements real quick of what everything is so you guys know. Um, I will leave the weight down in the description because my scale is broken, and I don't know what's wrong with it. But let's go ahead and look at the arms. The arms are measuring at three millimeter arms, so that's the whole bottom plate. The top plate is two millimeters and for you guys who want to know how big the stack is and how tall you can build your stack um, that is pretty much coming in at about 22 millimeters so that's quite a bit of room I say especially since you have both the front and the back because this is 20 by 20 so you can't use a 30 by 30 or anything like that with it but you can pretty much mount your flight controller and stuff in the back and then you can put um, some more components in the front on their 20 this 20 by 20 um, I will be doing a build video on this, um, an entire build video, so stay tuned to the channel and subscribe if you haven't done so already and see that going on. Um, it does have this mount here for the back for a um, for antennas to come out the back. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and um, show you guys how to build this quad, how to build the frame, and then we will uh, see me in a future video where we're going to go ahead and build this thing out. Alright, so let's go ahead and assemble this four inch gecko and what we're going to go ahead and do first is we're going to assemble the cage first so you want to get your titanium pieces that you already took out of the bag and make sure that the holes are on the bottom with the indent with like the little indents inside inside too so it should be like that so I'm going to put that right there and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get these two sides here as well and then we're going to go ahead and kind of just figure out where they're going to go on both sides so I have them like that and then you're going to want to get your standoff right here put that there and then we want to have two screws so we have two screws right there and then what we're going to do is we're going to start assembling this so I'm going to take this screw here on the side I'm going to stick it like that then we're going to get our side piece here and we're going to kind of get it like that so it's facing down just like that and then we're gonna get our standoff and we're just gonna screw it on there like so so that side like that and then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side making sure that's in like that And then we're going to put it in like that. And then we're going to have to screw it in a little bit. And I'm not going to tighten these up all the way just yet. Just so I can get them on the frame. Like so. So that's how the front cage should look. Just like that. And this thing is pretty, pretty nice. So I'm going to put that to the side. Actually, we're going to go ahead and just mount it now since we have it out. And this is going to be the front and that's going to be the back. So go ahead and do. And now these are going to, it's going to slide into these little grooves in the carbon fiber. And we're going to kind of push it in there. So I have to do this off screen because it's going to have, it takes a little, see the clips in there like that. Sorry for my phone. 
and then we're going to go ahead and screw in the bottom with two more little screws, the shorter ones. And it's going to screw into the mount like that. Same thing on this one. And since I have that like that, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to screw in and tighten those up in the front. And that's tight. So we have the front assembled. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to move to the back and we're going to put on these standoffs, the back standoffs. And how you know which one's the front and which one which one goes up up. That is going to be just like this. One's going to be shorter than the other one. So the longer side goes on the bottom. And then we're going to take two short standoffs again. I mean, two uh, short screws. And we're going to stick them in those screw holes and screw that down. So if I can get it in there, that's a two short screw. Still the shorter screws, but it's not the tiny, tiny screw. All right, got that one done. Same thing on the other side. All right, so we got that done. And then next we're gonna go ahead and put on, now what you could do right now at this point is you can go ahead and put your little sticky feet on here. I'm gonna put those on like that. And you pretty much just want it like in the middle of the arm. Just peel them off and stick it. like so. And then what you can go ahead and do too is it comes with these longer screws for your stack and you can go ahead and put those in there if you want. These are the back of it. So we'll just do that just for now to do it. Just so you know everything. This will be for your flight controller stack. We'll stick those in there. And what we're using is the plastic washers. They're plastic so they insulate any electrical mumbo jumbo from your stack if it does happen to touch. If you had a metal screw or a metal um, bolt, it can cause some problems. And I'm just going to hand tighten them for now because I'm not putting the stack on right now. Like so. Then we have all four in there. Like so. Which the screw wants to go in correctly. All right, we got that all screwed down. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we want to put the mount on the back. So your top plate you have here, you'll notice on the back here, it has these weird screw holes here. It actually comes with one of these. This is for your antenna, for your receiver antenna. And you can either put it here or put it there, wherever spot you want to put it. And then it'll also have these little, um, whatchamacallits. What you want to do is take those and just kind of put them in like that. Facing down. And then you want to hold it, hold the bottom of the screws. 
one fell out, of course. Hold the bottom of the little nubbies. And then just take that. And then you want to use your little screws. It's not too, too long. Yeah, you just want to use the uh, M3 by 6 screws. Let me get started in there. Fell off. And I'll put that there. Get another screw. Line it up so it doesn't fall off. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties with this. Let's see here. So I'm going to do this off screen so I can see better. there and then screw that down like so so then the back should be like that once you have that all done you go ahead and put your top plate on Like so. It's gonna kind of push it in there. Just like that. And we'll take the shorter screws. The, I think these are the M3 by 4. And just screw the top plate down. So that's pretty much how you build. The gecko, this will apply to the three inch and the four inch, so it doesn't matter which one you got, just the four inch is a little bigger. Find another screw here. And we are done. And then you can put the battery pad on. This will go on just like this. So I'll do that right now too for you guys. A little inserts out. And then what we do is just kind of smash it and just place it on top of there, like so. So that is how you build the four inch gecko and the three inch. It is a really nice little frame. But look forward to a build video. I'm going to be doing a video of this, uh, building this out. Got some components in, so we'll go ahead and do that and show you what it's all about. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.